Hey golfers, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today right, we're going cool. to be playing Big Met Golf Course in Cleveland, Ohio. Big Met is part of the Metro You'll Parks family of courses. Right. It is a par 72 with a slope rating of 113. Uh -huh. This is a course I haven't played all year. Uh, as you can tell by the foliage on the trees, this is fall golf. And as per usual, my goal today is to break 50, ideally break 45. So we'll see how that goes. I came into today's round with really no nice. expectations of Stuck scoring. It, uh, it had been a couple weeks since I got out, and I want to say that having that mindset really helped to set the tone for the round. And starting off with that par was the confidence boost I needed to really get into a groove. And as we'll see as this round progresses, uh, score really well. I'm in a little bit of trouble here, and unfortunately I did skull right, that second hit. shot, but the outcome wasn't awful. It left me with a clear shot in, uh, and I was able to execute a nice chip on. The ball is going to have rolled just to the back end of the green, but I am putting for par, and we're going to see as the round continues that that's really going to be the strength for me today. The flat stick was firing on all cylinders. The old saying, you drive for show and you putt for dough, was really true today for me. The flat stick not only prevented me from having big explosion holes by allowing me to clean up things like that, like a quick double bogey, but it also allowed me to score in ways that I hadn't all year. Oh, you're right there, Dan. So after playing two relatively easy holes to start, the 12th is yeah, going to be it. the first challenging yeah, hole on the back nine here. It was playing about 193 from the yellows. And that's just not a distance that I'm comfortable with trying to drive the green. So I'm going to play more conservatively and just try and hit it straight. It came, that worked out pretty well. I was able to chip it on. And again, a, a yeah, decent putt there. It left me super close to clean up a tap and bogey. All right. So we're going to take off here on the 13th. Ooh, this is the first par five of the back nine. I am going to drive this off to the right just a bit. I missed my mark. Uh, I, well, I'm not going to be penalized too much though. Luckily, there's a big wide opening here between the trees and I am able to thread that needle. The ball gets pulled a bit to the left. Um, I think I was lined up incorrectly, but still a decent shot to attack the hole. And I execute a really nice chip on. So after a rough drive, I am actually on the green putting for birdie. Uh, it's a long birdie putt, but hey, anytime I'm putting for birdies, a good day. And I just, I push it way past, almost hit the flag stick, didn't get so lucky. And lucky it didn't roll off the green, honestly. But uh, line up this par putt, see if I can clean it up. And there it is, a second big par putt of the day. If you like this kind of content, guys, please give us a like. Please give us a subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. All right, so on to the 14th. This is another par four, and we're going to drive the ball way down there, but it's going to skirt off to the right. <laughs> Luckily, I did find an opening. It uh, wasn't in the trees, and I'm going to just be punching it back and trying to get onto the fairway, march my way down to the green. Uh, I execute that punch out really well, but then um, I'm just going to skull this shot and really just dribble it up there, maybe 90 yards. Luckily, I was chipping really well this round, and that chip on is going to allow me the opportunity to, again, make a run at it for bogey, but really keep it close, and again, clean up for a double bogey, mitigate any sort of implosion hole. Uh, we're still on track to make 45, guys. All right, so onto the 15th. This is a pretty straightforward par four, and I absolutely crushed this drive right down the middle. Uh, I'm going to put myself about 140 out and I pull out an 8 iron. I am going to misjudge the distance there. Uh, I'm going to leave it a little shorter than intended. I was luckily not in the sand uh, and I'm going to have the lob wedge in hand here and I chip on and I put it pretty close, all things considered. So I'm on the dance floor. I am putting for par. The flag stick is in a difficult spot here and while I didn't make the par putt, I left it plenty close to clean up for the bogey. So again, we're at plus six after the 15th, so we're tracking to a 45-50. I'm happy, guys. On to the 16th, uh, second par five of the day, and I'm not going to hit this drive quite as well as the last hole, but all things considered, it's all right. I am 
a little closer to the cart path than I would have liked, but again, we're 250 out. All I'm trying to do now is march my way down the fairway and I execute that shot well with the six iron, leaves me in a good spot to attack the green and I pull out the nine iron and I crush it. I hit it really well. I am on the dance floor. I am in the same zip code as the pin and we're going to, for the second time today, be putting for birdie. And believe it or not, guys, we're gonna make that birdie putt. How about a like, how about a subscribe? That was huge. Uh, rarely do I see that in my golf game. Rarely do we see that on the channel. So really pumped there. We take a stroke back and we're plus five after 16. As we move on to 17, this is a really short scoreable par four. I absolutely crushed that drive, left myself about 50 yards to the pin. And man, what a chip shot. I am really happy with that. And as we'll see when we get closer, I am within a club's length of the hole. This is another birdie putt. That is another birdie sank. How about that, guys? Two back-to-back -back birdies. That is golf I rarely see rarely see probably the first time i did that all season pure, nice so shot. we're moving on here to the 18th i'm thinking man think we are tracking easily up. towards a 40 maybe i break 40 i shoot a 39 i haven't done that in years another good drive and then another great chip on here so this is the fourth time this round that we're going to be on the dance floor putting for birdie certainly a longer birdie putt than we've made today but still a makeable putt and I leave it a little short and the golf gods as quickly as they give you your putting can take it away. So we're gonna miss that. We're gonna clean up the bogey on 18th. That's gonna put us at a 41. What a round for me guys. What a great way to end the season. Thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Tune in for more.